How's it going Jeremiah's? My previous video with my recommended list of best beginner keyboards was very popular on YouTube and helped more than a quarter million viewers make an informed decision on which beginner keyboard to buy. However, cheap beginner keyboards don't have a lot of features and the student will outgrow a cheap basic keyboard and will feel the need to upgrade to a keyboard with more substantial functions. Since that video, I have been getting loads of requests and comments asking me to recommend a list of more premium keyboards that a beginner can use for a few more years until he reaches an intermediate level. So here is my list of 4 best premium beginner to intermediate keyboards under $399 US in early 2020. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Jeremy C and I am a musician and a keyboard piano teacher for the last 25 years. On my channel, I have made more than 300 unbiased, unsponsored and honest keyboard and digital piano reviews and tutorials. Do subscribe and smash that like button if you want valuable knowledge from content that I make. The Yamaha PSR E463 keyboard which I reviewed over here was released in May 2018 for US$479, but the price has come down substantially by almost 50% since then. You can get the Yamaha PSR E463 for as little as $257 with my link in the description. The Yamaha PSR E463 keyboard comes with 61 full-size touch-sensitive keys and more than 750 voices containing grand pianos, electric pianos, organs, saxophone, harmonica, strings and synth voices that are beautifully sampled using Yamaha's renowned AWM technology. The acoustic instrument voices in the Yamaha PSR E463 are definitely one of the better sounding ones. These voices can be layered and can also be split across the keyboard. To play along with, the Yamaha PSR E463 comes with 235 accompaniment styles. These styles range from pop, rock, hip-hop, electronica, country, latin and world music and this ensure that you sound like an accomplished musician even though you might just be a beginner. You also get more than 30 effects ranging from DSPs, reverbs and choruses to personalize the voices to sound the way you want. For the young or young at heart musicians, the Yamaha PSR E463 comes with a groove creator containing 35 rhythmic grooves. These grooves together with the inbuilt arpeggiator allows you to create complex electronica beats. Navigating the Yamaha PSR E463 is easy with the large backlit LCD screen. And if you want the barking of your dog to be part of your musical creation, the Yamaha PSR E463 also comes with a quick sampling feature for you to map any recorded sound onto the keys. You also get a 6-track song recorder as well as the ability to connect the keyboard to a computer or mobile device via USB for complex music production. You get the usual headphones port as well as an audio in jack for connecting to your phone to play along with your favourite Spotify tracks via the built-in 12W amplified stereo speakers. There are 32 memory slots for you to store your favourite personalised voice and rhythm settings for quick recall. You can plug in a USB stick to expand the memory capacity of this keyboard if you need to. For portability, you can power this lightweight 14 pounds keyboard via 6 AA batteries and you can also use a power adapter if you should choose to.
Here are a couple of things that can be improved on the Yamaha PSR E463. Firstly, it has a polyphony of just 48 notes and you will experience note drop-offs with a very complex arrangement. A 6-track song recorder is also less capable than the usual 16 tracks found on the other keyboards on my list. In addition, each rhythm styles in the accompaniment section comes with only two variations compared to four different variations on the other keyboards on my list. You can find detailed information and the current pricing on the Yamaha PSR E463 in the description below. At just 299 US dollars, the Casio CTX 3000, which I reviewed over here, is massive value for money, packing in loads of features not found in other keyboards at this price. The Casio CTX 3000 is essentially a full fledged music workstation, which is way more advanced than any other keyboards in this list. But it does come with some quirks which I will elaborate later on in this video. The Casio CTX 3000 comes with 61 full-size touch-sensitive keys and it uses Casio's newest AIX sound chip. The CTX 3000 comes with 800 well-sampled voices and I found electric piano voices on this keyboard to be a particular strength of the Casio CTX 3000. These voices can be further edited using the more than 150 effects and the edited voices can also be saved in a 100 user voice memory slots for easy recall later on. One of the biggest advantages of the Casio CTX 3000 is the Style Creator. And this Style Creator function gives you the ability to create your own rhythmic accompaniment styles from scratch. You also get 235 pre-programmed built-in styles across every imaginable genre. And if you have not mastered the skill of style creation, each style also comes with four variations. For those who are more interested in electronic dance music, the CTX 3000 comes with 150 arpeggiator patterns for your musical creativity. While other keyboards come with a basic sound mixer for the different voice parts, the CTX 3000 contains a massive 42 channel mixer to get your perfectly refined sound. You can also record and save 100 short phrases for use during your performances. Instead of a song recorder found in other keyboards in this price range, the Casio CTX 3000 comes with a very powerful 17 track sequencer. You get high end workstation capabilities such as step time recording, event level editing, punch in, punch out, as well as overdub features used by advanced music producers. There are 128 memory slots for you to save your user voice and rhythm settings. Unlike other keyboards, you can connect up to two pedals to trigger various features and functions on this keyboard as well. You get the usual headphones as well as audio in jack and a USB port for connecting a USB stick and to connect to a computer. The built-in 12 watt amplified speakers are punchy and clear, but it does get a little muddy sounding when the volume is cranked all the way up. Even though the Casio CTX 3000 comes with all these high-end features, it only weighs in at about 15 pounds. You can power the keyboard with an AC adapter or with batteries. Here are four gripes I have with the Casio CTX 3000. Firstly, this keyboard comes with only 64 notes of polyphony. Yes, this is more than those found on the other keyboards in this list, but with so many powerful features in this keyboard, 
The 64 notes polyphony is one of its Achilles heel. Secondly, only about half of the CTX-800 voices found on the Casio CTX-3000 sounds good. Quite a number of the voices seem to be a rehash of the voices found on their previous generation AHL-based keyboard. Thirdly, this keyboard uses the harder to find d size battery. A keyboard of this performance level should be powered by a USB power bank instead. These days, rechargeable power banks are so cheap that everyone has a couple of these lying around the house to charge up their mobile devices and they can definitely use this power bank to power up the Casio CTX-3000 instead of using d size batteries or using the power adapter. The biggest reason why I find it hard to love the Casio CTX-3000 even though it has loads and loads of features, functionality and a great price is that it is extremely difficult to use and to navigate. The user interface is created by engineers in lab codes instead of real life users. The poorly written user manual also does not make things any easier. You can decide if this hassle is worth it for you by going to my detailed information as well as the current pricing on these Casio CTX-3000 in the description below. In October 2018, Korg launched their most affordable beginner keyboard to date the Korg EK50, which I reviewed right over here. Korg markets the EK50 as an entertainer keyboard, and looking at the features available on the Korg EK50, you will be left scratching your head as to why it is the most expensive keyboard on this list. At 399 US dollars, the Korg EK50 does not have many features found on the other cheaper keyboards. But there is a reason why the Korg EK50 consistently gets very good reviews on Amazon. The Korg EK50 is meant to be an extremely non-intimidating, user-friendly, sit-down-and-play kind of keyboard. Most of the functions you need can be accessed using the panel buttons. There isn't a need to dive into multi-level deep sub-menu to get to user settings. The Korg EK50 61 full-size touch-sensitive keys has the most premium feel among the keyboards in this list. You get more than 700 voices from which you can create a massively lush three-layer voicing. The only keyboard in this list that can do this. You can also edit these voices using up to 148 different effects. Turning on and off these voice layers as well as adjusting the levels between the layers is easy compared to the other keyboards in this list. The strength of the Korg EK50 is that it comes with 200 sound sets. These are 200 sets of voice combinations with effects applied. These sound sets have been programmed to complement each other. You do not need to have much technical knowledge in tweaking the voices to make it sound good. The Korg EK50 comes with 280 styles. You get two variations as well as two intros and endings per style. Much more than the other keyboards in this list. However, the styles are not as well programmed as those found on the Yamaha PSR E463.
you do get very convenient controls for switching off rhythmic parts on the fly as well as adjusting the levels of the different accompaniment parts easily. There are quite a number of things you do not get on the Korg EK50. You do not get an arpeggiator like the three other keyboards on this list. You also do not get a sampler. You do not get phrase pads with this keyboard either. There isn't a style creator like that found in the Casio CTX 3000. And if you need these features, this keyboard is not for you. The Korg EK50 is focused on live playing and it does this very well. You get a 12 track sequencer to record your songs with the EK50. The built in 20 watt amplified speakers are also powerful for playing in small venues without the need for external amplification. This does come with a weight penalty, however. At 16 pounds, the EK50 is noticeably heavier than the rest in this list. You can power this keyboard via AC adapter or with 8 AA batteries. You can also find 40 memory slots to save your user settings. And you can connect a USB stick to this keyboard to save more user settings if needed. There are also the usual ports for connecting a pair of headphones, an external input pedal as well as connecting to the computer. You do get stereo outputs for connecting to an external PA system should you need to use it for performing. There is also an audio in port for streaming your Spotify tracks to the speakers. What I feel the Korg EK50 can do better is the polyphony. With just 64 notes of polyphony and with three upper layers and one split layers, the notes can drop off pretty quickly, even more so when the styles are playing. The 12 track sequencer is also limited considering the price of this keyboard. Due to the powerful speakers, the Korg EK50 will chew through 8 AA batteries each time. Powering the keyboard via a USB power bank will be a more logical choice for future models. While you do not need to dwell into deep sub-menu to set levels and turn on and off parts, you will need to use a combination of button presses to get to these essential performance functions. And often these combination of button presses require me to lift my hands from the keyboard to effect these changes. And this is counterintuitive for a performance oriented keyboard. You can find more detailed information on the Korg EK50 as well as the most current pricing in the description below. If you intend to play more pianistic pieces and prefer more keys, the Yamaha PSR EW300 at just $269 US is a great value buy. My best recommended beginner keyboard of 2020 under $199 is the Yamaha PSR E363. And this Yamaha PSR EW300 is exactly the same keyboard with the same features and functions as the Yamaha PSR E363, but you get 76 full-size touch-sensitive keys instead of the usual 61 keys. For $269, you get 574 voices ranging from acoustic to synths. These voices can be layered as well as split across the keyboard. You can also apply more than 20 different effects to the voices for a more personalized sound. The Yamaha PSR EW300 comes with a sustained pedal input jack and it also has a pedal sustain feature for nice long sustain notes without the need for plugging in an additional sustain pedal. The Yamaha PSR EW300 also comes with 165 accompaniment rhythm styles to play along with. You get a nice fancy intro, two variations and an ending with each of the 165 rhythms. 
you can also trigger more than 150 arpeggiator patterns suitable for more contemporary electronic dance music. All of your user voice edits as well as panel settings can be stored on 9 registration memory slots for easy recall. There is a 2-track recorder with a storage capacity of 5 songs for you to record your performances. You get a headphones jack as well as built-in speakers running through 5 watt speakers. For ultimate portability, you can power the keyboard with AA batteries. However, a DC power adapter is also available. One of the best features of the Yamaha PSR E-Series is that these keyboards include a USB audio interface. This is a feature which even Yamaha's own high-end keyboards costing thousands of dollars more do not have. The USB audio interface allows you to send audio signals to and from your computer as well as your iPad. Other brand keyboards on this list only usually include a USB MIDI port. I wish the speakers on the Yamaha PSR EW300 can be more powerful though. It is enough for personal practice but I really wouldn't count on it for any sort of performance. The fabric speaker covers is also a dust magnet and is vulnerable to damage easily. If you don't need the extra 15 keys, the Yamaha PSR E463 is cheaper yet offers much more in terms of sounds, voices, features and functionality. You can find detailed information and current pricing on the Yamaha PSR EW300 in the description below. I hope you found this comprehensive list of the 4 best premium beginner to intermediate keyboards under $399 to be useful to you in choosing a keyboard you need. My name is Jeremy C and I will see you soon in my next video.